Hello, Divine Feminine. Welcome or into your reading. Let's take a look and see what's going on with the feminine part of the collective spirit. We just did a Divine Masculine read. So let's take a look and see what is going on with the feminine. What's going on around your energy? Let's see for the viewer. What is going on, Spirit, for the viewer? Please, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to work with me. All that info is down below. We got 10 of Pentacles flipping out, girl. Woo! I know a lot of my divine feminines in my tribe are manifesting. We have a healing session tomorrow night. I can't wait to see what's going on with them. Join my tribe. I got some new members in there. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the women in there are shifting really big, really big, beautiful ways. So let's take a look here. What is going on with the sacred feminine energies in the collective right now, spirit? Working hard, okay? Really focus on mission here. Love, Divine Feminine. You're no longer giving to a certain situation anymore. Yeah, there have been regrets, but you've woken up to a new path. That's what I'm seeing with that page of wands. You've woken up and you're winning and you're winning. <laughs> Here's the masculine. It's opening up your masculine. He can intuitively feel you and wants to return. So this is one again. This divine feminine has moved on. The masculine that I just read, um, really interesting. Um, what's happened is this mask. This is really wild how this smoke is moving. It was doing it in like steps. Really interesting. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if it's going to do it now. Anyways, it was really interesting with how it was moving. There's some smoke magic or something. <laughs> Anyways, so this masculine can feel the feminine has moved on. Same story, but let's see what's going on with her. Um, how is this feminine doing towards this masculine energy? Ah, she feels him. Okay, so Divine Feminine, you could be feeling this masculine. What is this Divine Feminine feeling about this masculine? Maybe being more open to his energy. Oh, no, you close. <laughs> oh, God, guys, this is what's coming up. All right, we'll get some Divine Feminine messages here. Um, this woman has closed herself off. She's not feeling of how open this masculine's heart is at this time. You may not be feeling him, Divine Feminine. You're just kind of closed off to it. You're like, eh, I'm taking my egg elsewhere. I'm going to go birth somewhere else, make babies with someone else, be with somebody else. And whatever you've done here, this masculine is opening, but I don't think you're even aware of it, Divine Feminine. What does the ma feminine like to say to this masculine? Here we go. It fell right in front. I feel you as I drift off every night and I immediately think of you upon waking. So she may still think of this masculine. Um... I don't think she's in a bad place. So I'm not going to pull the drama trauma cards. So maybe let's pull. Um... Yeah, let's do these ones over here. Let's give me a sec, guys. Let me grab these ones. So I feel like she's just not even tapped in psychically. Nothing with this masculine. She's like, I think of you briefly. I think you want to wake up. I don't think that's changed for this feminine. But her emotions are completely closed off here. Okay. Let's see. What's going on with this feminine energy here towards this masculine here? Let's take a look. What is going on with the feminine here in this collective? Milk and honey. So she's focused on her, her abundance. We'll put one under the masculine. What is this about the feminine towards the masculine? Well, she's pretty much going after her milk and honey. And what's going on here is community and by the book. Uh, whatever community that they're connected to or the group that they're connected to um, and doing things step by step, she's like, go do you, boo. Go do you, whatever. You want the community. You want the friends. You want whatever, the tribe, you want, maybe you guys had mutual friends together. Um, maybe there was a breakup and, you know, you know when that happens, certain friends go off with certain friends. You're like, go oh, be with the people that are, that you want. I'm closed off. I'm closed off. 
This feminine is focusing on where spirit. Tell me about this milk and honey. Yeah, she's investing in herself. She's investing in her path. She's making money. She's um, looking good over here. Yeah, she's not giving a chance for a renewal here with this feminine, with this masculine energy. Tell me about this community and by the book with this divine feminine towards this masculine. She's like, go work with your family. Yeah, go find other people. <laughs> Just stop bothering me. <laughs> I'm sorry, you shouldn't say it. She's like, I've started new. I have the strength to start new. I'm really like over this whole situation. Now we saw what happened with, with the masculine. So this feminine is investing in herself. She's kind of closed the book off. Um, but it's affecting this masculine. Yeah, she's closed off with the four pentacles. As I'm saying that, she's ended the cycle. I can't make it up, guys. So what's coming for this feminine then if she's totally closed off to this masculine? What's going on with this feminine? Now, if you want this, let's see. Let's see the ones that have completely closed off to this twin dynamic or this person, this king of cups. Where is this feminine moving towards if she doesn't want this person? The marriage has ended. She doesn't want something traditional or the same that she's always had. She wants something completely different. She almost wants the universe to surprise her. Yeah, she's been she's waiting for something um, that's going to tantalize her is what I'm hearing. She doesn't want the same old kind of relationship. She'll end it. Okay, she, she wants something non-traditional. She doesn't want something that she's always had. Um, yeah, maybe her investments aren't fully taking off yet because there's still some. Yeah. She's still learning how to ground her faded path, right? She's still, her finances may be up and down or she may be, you know, um, that happens when you run your own business. You know, you have to kind of uh, learn how to make it consistent and she may be learning that now or she may be investing in other endeavors. Um, she's seeing that, you know, this wheel never got off the ground, maybe because there was a third party greedy or black magic that was done in the connection. But what I'm also getting is that She's ended the cycle because she she can't be that beautiful, sacred, feminine energy in her life with this individual. And so she she's been working on closing off this vibration at this time. Tell me about this. And persevering. Yeah. So she's been moving forward and she's currently ending any relationships in her life and that have been somewhat traditional for her. This may be a big change for this feminine. She may have hung around a certain kind of people or dated a certain type. And she's like, I'm ready for something different. Yeah, three of pentacles. She wants to work and collaborate with something completely different. So let's see where this feminine is going. What's coming up for this feminine? Yeah, she's imagining her life. She's an alchemy manifestation. That's where a lot of my feminines are at, right? So what about the feminine that wants this masculine? Let's do that. What if the viewer wants this masculine back? Yeah. Some of you may take this masculine back. You may have moved on, but you're still opening a little space for this masculine because he does feel like home. Spirit is also warning you, though, here that it's not stable. It's kind of like this house being supported on this vine. It's not very stable, right? So be aware that there'll still be work to do. So... Depending if you want this masculine or not, you can have them if you want them. And for others, you're you're looking at something new. So let's take a look at how this feminine is moving forward. Yeah, you're currently making a decision of what you want, right? You're not going to juggle either or. So if you're going to choose the the person from the past, you got to make the, that decision. You can't juggle two options, right? It's like, okay, I want that. I'm going to manifest it. I'm going to keep doing my work and keep doing what I'm doing. Or... I'm going to open myself up to all kinds of different possibilities. If someone new comes, that's very untraditional. That's, you know, um, somebody that is not in a relationship, somebody that it doesn't have a third party, somebody that isn't married, somebody that doesn't, is not a player, somebody who's actually serious and who's alchemizing the same way that I'm alchemizing, who's speaking to God. Someone's looking for their, their holy connection here. And this could have been a twin, but it could be that this twin is no longer operating in, um, a very high standard so you're being really honest with yourself divine feminine saying no how could i be with someone who has that much kind of you know ego about love and money and all because the last read was about this masculine being so greedy for money how could i be with somebody like that she's being really honest with herself right for those that do want this masculine back spirit is saying just recognize this love can be a trap right 
because they're not fully healed. So what the message I'm getting here for the viewer is this masculine, if this is resonating for you, is not in a good space. OK, so even if he comes back and you take him back or you want something new, you've got to be very aware that this love can trap you because he can be. This King of Cups can be very emotionally charming and beautiful and na na na, but it can also lead you down a road that you don't necessarily want, something that you've already seen in this masculine, right? So Spirit is putting a warning there to be also very honest with how you're creating and alchemizing in your future and what you want. There, we got the manipulation here. Someone could be doing black magic to manifest this divine feminine back. OK, could be working with darker energies to bring this masculine, to bring this feminine back into this masculine's life. Maybe that's how they've been creating. Oh, sorry, guys, just yawning. Oh, that's some energy coming out. So there's some kind of manipulation that that has been going on. Let's take a look. What is this manipulation here, spirit, and this entrapment of this love? See, you can untrap yourself from this. Even if it's a twin flame, you can, okay? Um, you have to learn how to accept that feeling within them, that it never goes away, and just it, you just kind of learn how to live with it. I mean, thank God for my trauma. If anything, if you've had trauma in your life, you learn how to deal and live with it. Um, it just becomes something that you just deal with, you know? Um, to the point where I rarely talk to my twin now. Um but he's coming through in dreams, but you got to just learn how to deal with it. You just accept it like, yay, this is a great connection. This is the love. It's pure love. I'm going to utilize that love to manifest my life. Okay. Tell me about this. But if you want it physically manifested, just be aware that there's still some entrapments and patterns that haven't quite healed yet. Right? Chopped wood. Exactly. So there's the chopped wood energy, which means that there can be a new door that opens up, but it's going to need some cleaning up. That means you're going to have to stay present. You're going to have to be really honest with yourself. And even when you move forward into something new, you've got to be really honest of your feminine. What's good for your feminine energy, divine feminine, right? What is good for your path forward? Um, if you know that this masculine has certain things that you can't deal with, um and they don't want to heal it that's the whole other key aspect too is like can they heal it are they willing to heal it are they willing to uh wake up right and if they're not willing to well you got to be kind of honest with yourself at that point right tell me one more yeah here and now so spirit is saying you know nothing is in stone be present allow the doors to open you got past and future you're kind of stuck between two places or divine feminine you're like well, if they change or somebody new is in my life, it's kind of like you got to be really present and you got a red flag here. Notice the red flags, right? With all the relationships that are coming forward because you have gone through enough divine feminine that you actually know what you want now. Let's see. Let's get a message from the feminine to the masculine. What else would this feminine like to say to the masculine? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Are we having a conversation right now? Am I talking to you inside of me? I hear you so clearly. So this feminine is going a little crazy because as she pulls away, this masculine is trying to come open his heart, right? Because he's opened up here. She's closed off. So whenever he tries to make contact with her, she gets a little bit antsy with it. He may be feeling that too. Like, ugh, what do you want? You know, um, because she's really trying to push forward and end a cycle. Even if she wants this person back, she's not taking things the same way. She's going to work on things, you know, that are non-traditional, that doesn't match how she's always done things in the past is what I'm hearing. Um, and realizing she wants stability and that this love can be very tricky because it's so deep that it can manipulate her into things that she doesn't necessarily want to do because it may have manipulated in the past divine feminine, right? So... This masculine trying to come in your energy, telepathically connect to you, trying to get with you energetically or even call you up. Who knows? Maybe he's calling you up. You're kind of like it's making you go crazy. OK, it's because the energy is um, he's in a dark place. Right. You are the missing puzzle piece and we fit so perfectly. So she's recognizing that she's like, yeah, we did. We fit so perfectly. You know, masculine wants to talk. 
and she wants to talk. So some of you may definitely want to speak, maybe clear the air. What about um, the feminine moving forward? I feel like if she moves forward, then she will. I feel so abandoned when I can't feel you. And I know I'm pulling at your energy, but I'm so much in pain right now. I'm sorry. I know you need space. So this could be a mirroring aspect that this feminine is just in so much pain, closed off here, right? And that's actually um, pushing her to move forward. But that pain is also pulling her back. Let's clarify that. So that could be for some of you as well. Some of others of you are just like, mm, I can feel that and it's too painful. So I don't want to deal with it, you know? So there's a lot of different um, energies this could apply to. So it's like, I know you need space, but it's like this masculine, it's like a that runner chase and the masculine comes in feels the feminine run away she's like oh my god i don't want to deal with this then she feels him pull away and then she's like are you there it's this constant back and forth tell me about this with the divine feminine about wanting to talk to the masculine she's like not until he's done his illusions she may think it's an illusion four of wands in reverse maybe not until he ends a certain relationship or commitment and ends you know a certain foundation she thinks it's crazy. She may be feeling him and hearing him. And she's like, this is delusional. This is, I'm not hearing him, but then it happens again. So feminine, you may be going through a little bit of a whew, energetic uh, upgrade is what I'm hearing with your twin. And you're trying to move away and you're trying to move forward. And then you don't know what, well, if he comes back and he's like this, it's a really difficult place to be in. And it's like spirit wants you to get more clarity because this is the energy. If it's in the energy, it's how this masculine is and what the connection is actually like in the 3D. So this feminine is feeling a little crazy with this masculine's awakening here. She's gotten over her heartbreak here. <coughs> and she wants karmic justice for what she's gone through for ending this union, right? What else should we know about this feminine energy towards her masculine? It's too many. What else would the, what's spirit like the feminine to know? Okay. They don't, God doesn't want you to wait around, right? There's no movement. You got to change your plans. There's no point in waiting for this situation. So you've got to make a decision to find feminine of which way you actually want to go. Tell me about the divine feminine making a decision. Yeah. Leave six of swords. You got to leave the situation. And I think it's getting really difficult. If you need help, hit me up. Okay. Because even telepathically and energetically, you don't have to be speaking to this person. Your energies have merged, especially if it's your twin. You can't ever cut your twin, but it's learning how to balance those energies so that you come into an alchemized mode in your life. Okay. Sorry, I need a sip of water, guys. So spirit is really asking for this divine feminine to start looking at how to move forward from this energy. Why is that? So spirit, tell us about this moving on from the twin flame dynamic. Yeah. Give your cup elsewhere. Wow. There's going to be an offer. There's an offer waiting for you to come in for love. Okay. Something really romantic. Um, out of your place of abandonment. Once you heal this place of abandonment, right? There is somebody right around the corner that's willing to come forward and declare love to you. And I don't think it's this person, right? Once you get out of this feeling, sorry. I feel once you move on, tell me about this masculine coming back if this feminine moves on to somebody new. Okay, it's pointing up to here. He's gonna then action, see? Isn't this always the damn case? Because you're getting really clear, Divine Feminine, you're really ready to move on with somebody else. This masculine is coming in like, you know, making a decision about, oh God, we're yachting on this reading. I'm wanting to be with you. This Divine Feminine is like, I can't deal with this, this kind of abandonment, this kind of energy anymore. Yeah, and this regret, it's too much. It makes me sad. So Divine Feminine, you're really leveling up here. You're waking up to maybe this person um, is just a friggin' mess, you know? Um, they don't want to, I mean, according to the last, ma the masculine reading that I just did, like this masculine doesn't want to do the work. Like, um, 
he's in a dark place and you're in a better place. So it's like such a difference in energy that you're not just not on the same page here. And I feel spirit is directing you to maybe look at, you know, opening your frequency, stay present with yourself with the energies every day. You know, they change. They can change hourly, minute, second by second. Okay. <laughs> and divine feminists can pick it all up. So just realize that um, you're getting a lot of clarity about this situation and being really honest with yourself about the reality of the situation of where this person is actually sitting and what is actually happening. Yeah, we have the moon here, okay? It dropped in reverse. So being in a, in a dark place, but realizing here that, you know, you have to move forward. You got to get, you got to be honest with yourself. Sure, if this person comes back, maybe you guys can be friends, you know, hang out, whatever, do things together. But I don't know. I'm not feeling like it's like love, love energy. I feel like it's just a residual energy. And this divine feminine really is ready to open herself to like real milk and honey and real abundance and, and kind of get off, you know, a certain uh, path here. But something is holding her back. What's holding this feminine back? Yeah, you're ending certain depressive cycles. Oh, you're get, you're gonna get it. Don't worry about that, Divine Feminine. We got the sun here. You're ending the the this breakup, the separation, this toxicity, whatever it else. God is opening up a new path for you. There's some really beautiful energies that are coming in for you. Okay. Tell me about this. It's coming in for Divine Feminine. Okay, so Spirit is saying, just watch. Fate is in your favor. You're getting messages from Spirit of this change in the wind. So, again, it could be this person. Everybody's different. This is a general reading. It could be somebody new, okay? It's whatever you decide to do, feminine, okay? Spirit is asking you, realize what isn't for you and what's actually going to make you happy because I'm about to bring in karmic justice and you've been kind of stuck at this fork in the road for a while. It's like, oh, this person pulls at me telepathically. This person pulls at me in the energy. I know this. No, 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 no. It's what keeps a lot of divine feminines pulled empathically and it kind of comes to the point where you're like, I'm really done with it, right? It leaves you feeling like orphan and abandoned. You're like, why? So you've taken the time to heal, right? You want someone that's going to give equally to you. And Spirit is saying you have a leg up of getting our true soulmate here, okay? You got to just be a little bit more flexible in your energy and what you want and go deeply into yourself to find that inner knowing instead of going round and round and round and realize there is a beautiful gift, a blessed gift that is coming your way. All right, so I'll leave it at that Divine Feminine. So much love. Don't forget to like, subscribe, come work with me, and we'll see you soon. Bye.